So now we're gonna apply our leg entanglements to knee shield. And when somebody does the knee shield, there's a little bit less entanglements. There's, there's, there's more for them than there will be for you. But being the person on top, there's still a crafty leg entanglement that I like to do. It's kind of one that versus goes into three, but ideally you want to talk about the concept of going uh, on top of the knee shield, okay? So it's important to remember that when they have the knee shield, okay, I don't want them to shift into me and then elevate on their shoulder and then grab my leg. So his hands will come under and then the knee shield helps and then it helps him more than it does me. Okay. When we're in the knee shield, I don't really want this on my hip line because it opens up a lot. And this goes back to when, if you look at my passing guard instructional, keeping the two knees on the ground in knee shield is a no-no for me. I don't like this at all. I want to keep one knee up and I want this knee shield off. And the concept is gonna be more like, I don't want anything on my hip line, okay? And I wanna make sure that at any point in time that I can go back to my passing uh, positions to avoid that. So when we bring this next technique, the concept of it is gonna be whether this knee, when we actually pry it, goes to the outside of my hip versus the inside of my hip, all right? When we're looking at passing the knee shield, and they're not so much passing, we're, we're concentrating on just the leg entanglement part. I don't want this on my hip line. It's like the biggest thing I can't reference that enough. Hip line is everything. His ability to pinch down and extend into me is gonna stop me from doing a lot of things, okay? So it's important to, when you're going against the knee shield, you are either bringing it back in, and then we can start going for all the other leg entanglements, or just making sure this is up off your hip line, right? Spacing out a little bit. So going into the knee shield, there's a lot more for the other person than there is for you, but there's still some very cool leg entanglement you can do. It just, you have to pay attention to your own hip line and the wedge that they try to put in with their shin and pay attention to that as you start initiating your attack.